Okay guys, we're gonna talk about LDL. This is so-called bad cholesterol. Everyone's afraid of it. it. Stands for low density lipoproteins. I'm gonna just wanna clear up some confusion on what this is. It's not really cholesterol. It's a protein carrier because um, cholesterol doesn't mix with water too well. So it needs to be shuttled through a little truck or a bus. So LDL, low density lipoprotein. It's not cholesterol. It has cholesterol in it but it's just a protein shell, okay? Now, the reason why people consider this bad is simply because it carries cholesterol to the arteries and then the HDL, the good cholesterol, take the cholesterol out of the arteries and goes back to the liver, okay? But let's just talk about cholesterol in general. As I've said in the other videos, your body makes cholesterol. Every single cell in your body makes it. Your liver makes 1,000 milligrams. The rest of the cells make 2,000 milligrams. So total, that's 3,000 milligrams every single day. Okay, so your body needs it. Um, so if you have high LDL and you're scared of that, um, here's, here's, here's the facts. Um, the real purpose of LDL is not to cause damage. It's like, it's like a, something that directly binds, inact, inactivates, inactivates bacterial toxins, okay? It prevents the damage from toxins from microbes. It's there to help heal the cell, okay? That's what it's there. In fact, um, it really tries to inact inactivate Staphylococcus aureus, which is caused by MRSA. You know, I don't know if you've heard about in some of the hospitals, they have this very resistant microbe in MRSA, and it's basically creating, dissolving red blood cells. It's so, so nasty. Do you realize that LDL helps to neutralize that? And if someone goes on a statin, a cholesterol-lowering drug, that basically inactivates cholesterol, you're more susceptible to this infection. You're more susceptible to MRSA. That's probably why a lot of the people in the hospital, which is, they're on statins, they're getting MRSA. I mean, it helps neutralize salmonella. This might be something new but to you, but it's actually, it's true. So LDL takes care of microbes. Uh, the, the specific uh, LDL that you want to test is LDLP. And the reason for that is that um, I'm not even concerned about LDL-C, which is, stands for cholesterol, but we want to know the number of particles because that will indicate how much triglycerides that are also in this LDL because it carries triglycerides, which are blood fats and cholesterol, okay? So when the doctor s says, oh, your bad cholesterol is high, we need to put you on medication, what they should say is, why is it high? I mean, it's there to try to heal something. So let's talk about what would increase LDL. Number one, insulin resistance and insulin. Prediabetes, diabetes, Th that'll increase it. Hypothyroid, infection. Do you realize that uh, when you're sick, your cholesterol, your LDL goes way up? Because your body is trying to heal it, right? Leaky gut, because there's an immune reaction. Genetics, there's a, there's a genetic problem with this. And so if you are tested, which is rare, if you are tested with a genetic problem with high levels of cholesterol, that's a whole different video, okay? I'll do one on that later, but, uh, and you need to keep it lower because it can get out of control, but I'm not talking about those people. Stress will increase your LDL. If you were to monitor your LDL on a hour to hour basis, it will fluctuate all over the place. So stress will increase it because it increases cortisol, which increases insulin. And then surgery. If you come out of surgery, your LDLs spike up. If you get a tooth extraction, your LDLs increase, okay? Any type of trauma. And visceral fat, that's the fat around your gut can increase this as well. So instead of trying to get rid of it, ask the question why it's there, start to heal it, and it will come down. I just like it. It's, it's the, one of the greatest ways to, indi uh, just to, like a red flag to pull the string to see what is causing that. It's like um, now you know all the potential things. Uh, you can actually correct this and then it will come down. But the last thing you want to do is get on some drug to inactivate this healing cholesterol. Thanks for watching.
Hey, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for your amazing, amazing successes that you guys are writing about. And I would love to have a complete success story from you with a before picture and an after picture as well, if you have that. And I put a link down below so you can fill it out. If you don't have a weight loss before and after, just put an image of yourself and your success. I would love to read it and I would love to share it with others because it does give them hope that they could be helped too. Thank you so much.